guys, um, just coming to you here with a uh, tutorial on how to modify or just mess around with your Minecraft. And what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to download the Minecraft jar tool. The link will be in the description. Um, and then you're going to want to open it up, and you're going to hit open now. After you hit open now, this folder will pop up right here on your desktop called MCTMP. You're going to want to open that up. And what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to go to the M's and find the meta.inf, this folder right here. And just throw that out in your trash. And after you do that, what I always like to do is um, you could change the text that comes up in the beginning by going to um, I just forgot, hold on. By going down to somewhere. Oh, going down to the title folder. And you're gonna go inside of the title folder if you want to change that. And what you get, what you're gonna do is you're gonna delete all these. Mine's been being weird lately, so I don't know if it's gonna work. But what you do is you delete it, and then you can type whatever you want. Uh, subscribe. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you save that. And once it's saved, uh, if you want to edit the loading picture, what you could do, um, you, know, you could really do whatever you want, but, uh, I, don't know, I found this picture funny. So, what you do is you open up the picture you want, you, uh, copy it or whatever you want to do, however you want to get it in to the other photo. What you do now is you just fit it to the dimension of the photo that's already there. Make sure it fits all nice and neat. Sorry if it's not perfect. Because I would just cut it off like that. And make sure you save that. So you save. And then there's other things you could edit. If you wanted to edit the moon or sun. You could do that. I don't really find that too necessary. Um, if you wanted to edit the sky, you could go up to environment and go to clouds. And what I usually like to do is, well, at least this is how I do it. I download it since on Max. You don't have any uh, way to really color or use paint like they would on a Windows or a PC computer. What I do is I copy it, paste it in paint. You gotta make the background black first, I realized. And then what you could do is you could just pick any color and just use the paint bucket to just fill in clouds. And even if you just went like that, you take a screenshot. This is if you, there would be more stuff you could edit. I'll show you how to do that. I usually just take a screenshot because I find it the easiest. And you open that up. And it should usually be like, oops, should be the perfect size. So what you just want to do is you want to grab the whole photo. And press oops, Command C to copy, and then go back to this photo. Press Command V, and then just place the clouds where you, in the right spot. Save the photo and go out. And a few other things you could edit. Uh, not that. If you wanted to edit the portraits, you go to this photo and. Um, you just drag photos and make sure they're aligned with the photo. Uh, you really don't want to do these because these are like gigantic photos and these 
these are the more common photos right there but that's if you want to edit the photos if you wanted to change what the like dirt would look like what's this this is like for both storage carts and the sign you could put stuff on there but if you wanted to change what the dirt looks like you're gonna go down to You're going to go down to this, the picture of the terrain, right here, and you're going to click it. And if you wanted to add a photo to it, like this, take this, and then you copy it here. And just like before, you get it to the size of whatever thing you're putting it on. Uh, let's say I'm putting it on the bed. Just need to zoom in there. Make sure you're getting the right. All right. So that would be the top part of the bed. It might be a little blurry, but it's probably going to come out blurry in the game. You could also uh, do the same with stuff that's already on here. Like if you wanted to make it look like your whole world was made of diamonds, what you do is you drag this thing over that, and then you hit copy and you could just like drag the diamonds that's probably a bad drag but whatever hold on let's fix that that's a little better all right then you save that and after you're done you can mess around find the folders see what you got to do after you do that x out of this folder and what you're going to do is you're going to hit recompile now after you hit recompile now, wait till that says done. Alright, now it says done. Now all you gotta do is open up your Minecraft. When you open up Minecraft, just log in like normal. As you can see, that photo is there. This is made of diamonds. Mine's messed up, the but yours, if you put in the extra, like if you deleted all the words, you should have something here, but I messed mine up. I edited it too much. Um, I'm just gonna load my legit world. Show you guys what it looks like. Uh, you will load. See, like everything looks like it's made of diamond. That's actually smooth stone. Um, my bed has the face on it, and you can basically just play around with the textures and stuff. And um, that's about it. Um, there will be a link to the Minecraft jar tool. And if you guys want, I guess I'll put a link to the paint that I use in case you want to edit it all. But I use preview usually. That's my like auto open thing. But it's a, it's a cool tool, I guess. You can also edit the armor, but the armor is small, so it's harder to edit. Uh, let me show you guys the uh, sky. Alright, um, so the sky that I edited before. See how it's green, the clouds are green, and the occasional black dot. Oh, see, it's all green. But everything looks like it has diamonds. You could also edit the uh, texture of the water. That's pretty fun to mess around with. You could edit the animals to make them look like whatever you really want. You can make them invisible. Um, all right, but. That was the tutorial. If you have any questions, just message me and make sure you subscribe.